Zen stories, the 101 Zen stories picked up from Zen flesh, Zen bones, or Paul Rips. Though I've spoken before, uh, some 15 years back for all the televisions, from Sanskar TV to Shankara TV to local channel, five local channels, I must have spoken around 80 stories, and then we were forced to stop it. And now, I thought, the continuation of 101 Zen stories. We'll start today and it will end by October 25th. Anybody wants to join us, can join us morning 6 to 7 and evening 6 to 7. A cup of tea, Nani, a Japanese master during the Meiji era, 1868 to 1912, received a university professor who came to inquire about Zen. Nanin served tea. He poured his visitor's cup full and then kept on pouring. The professor washed the overflow until he no longer could restrain himself. It is overfull. No more will go in. Let this cup, like this cup, Nanin said, you are full of your own opinions and speculations. How can I show you Zen unless you first empty your cup? Empty your diseases. A Japanese professor goes to a Japanese master to inquire about Zen. And like how you go to the schools, you go to the universities, you go to the father and mother, you've got so many questions because it is questions are a disease created by the rulers. Please try to understand. A lot of questions. You are forced to ask questions because they kept on asking you questions and asking you to study the answers created by them from the books, borrowed knowledge without you having any experience. Hence, this asking questions, if a professor comes to a Zen master, because Zen master will never have questions, neither he have answers. Why should a master have questions and answer? <laughs> because question and answer is a dictionary word. Your way of life, your smile, everything is itself is a beauty. It is to be felt, feel, smell, taste, touch and see. Only a conscious person can feel, smell, taste, touch and see. Once that is lost, then they were able to immediately disconnect you from your love, from your body itself. First, they disconnected you from your body. They started teaching you how to ask questions. And then they forced answers into you, so you learn it by heart. Both are spoon-fed. When it is spoon-fed, you forgot to taste of your own. You got disconnected from your physical activity with the nature. You physically lost your power. When you physically lost your power, you become unconscious. You were in ICU. Hence, that question, the Zen master and the professor, that question came. The moment the question came, people, children start asking questions. And they all call you very intelligent. Oh, very in Look at him. He's intelligent. You see a political leader on the stage, you question him. You see a guru, you question him. You see a father, mother, you question him. You see a tree, you question him. <laughs> you start questioning everything without embracing that beautiful creation and the beautiful activity which is coming out from that body. Can, can, can we call it a tree? or an animal, a chirping of the birds. You kept on questioning why the sun is rising and setting, the moon, the wind. And that created a psychological problem, a block. Nani, a Japanese master during the Meiji era, received a university professor who came to inquire about Zen. Nani served tea. He received, like in India, the most beautiful part of the Indian philosophy. We don't call it philosophy. The way of life of India 
was Aditi Devo Baba. Anytime anybody can walk in, our relatives, yes. Who are the relatives? We called, we said relatives are thieves and friends are our best. No, 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 no. Anybody who is related with our thoughts and ideas are our relatives. Our trees are our relatives if it is growing in our land. And you go and hug the tree and have a bear hug. It is called tree therapy. The tree is your relative, yes. You don't call him a related thief. Because when the fruits come, the birds are taking and going. <laughs> My farmer, farmers around here, when we are plucking the mangoes from the ashram, Narayan, who was our supervisor, was telling, Guruji, more than three, four, five mangoes, we should leave it. Otherwise, the birds will feel sad. Yeah, they will be thinking, look, these people are robbers. They are taking all the mangoes and go. They also know, and but for you, that is related thieves because the birds have taken. Who are the birds? Connected to Abhyukta Kudumba. The joint family has taken and gone. Always whatever you grow. And when the people come, Abhi, Abhi, this is called, not Abhyukta Kudumba. Whenever people come, we say Aditi Devo Bhava. Here the Zen Master made it as Aditi Devo Bhava. Zen Ma, the Zen professor came to inquire. Means question, which is not allowed in, in the Master's arena. Any questions? Your presence. I was in Sri Ranga Padna for a temple inauguration. That time I was sitting and uh, another Jagat Guru was sitting. And all the ladies who went to Jagat Guru comes to me and touch my feet. And uh, some of them told me, that is 15 years back, I'm talking when I was speaking in Sanskar TV. And they said, oh, Samuji, we were watching your Pravajana in Sanskar TV. Immediately asked, was I aggressive? I was controversial. That time I was trying to be a little controversial and little uh, aggressive. I asked those ladies uh, in my talks, did you feel I was aggressive and controversial? And the ladies were telling me, oh, 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 oh no, no, no. Whatever master talks, we have no right to even dissect or find a solution. Master talk, that is Amurtapa. <laughs> I was shocked. Such is the beauty. We have goddess in our land, yes. We are thinking we are saints and Maharishis, but look at our Indian women. They say, oh, oh, no, 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 no. We just enjoyed whatever your actions were. Such was the beauty. It was available. Look. Then Master received the professor. And the professor kept on asking questions and Master never said anything. He kept on pouring the tea. Nan in South. Tea, he poured his visitor's cup full and then kept on pouring. When the professor kept on asking questions, because that was his nature, he has been made a slave, but he's been given a name, professor, lecturer, teacher, all coolie professors, coolie doctors, coolie engineers, we are created, but no masters. And the professor kept on pouring, he made the tea, kept on pouring the, the professor's cup. The cup was full and the professor kept on pouring and it started spilling outside. When it spilled outside only, the professor came to new pour. The professor washed overflow until he no longer could restrain himself. It is over full, no more will go. Professor, it is over full. Master, no more can go inside the cup. It is over full, overflowing. Like this cup, Nanin said, Zen Master said, you are full of your opinions and speculations. How can I show you Zen unless you first empty your cup? Like this, your mind is full of your borrowed dirt. How will I, I allow you to breathe? How will I allow you to love your wife and children? How will I allow you to go back to your family? The family sits together, each prays together, grows together. How will I even show you the path that you can take baths together? And once you take baths, you know how to... I, Hug the tree. It's called tree therapy. Talk to the pet animals. And whenever you see your anybody and everybody, you fold both the hands and say, Namaste. Here, no, it is all out. 
Nobody says namaste. I've seen that in Japan. Everybody says, I must konnichiwa, come back. That is good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever they say, uh, they're very happy. If they meet anybody, they say, I'm very happy that I met you. Have everybody non-stop expressing and bowing. But in India, here in sometimes seniors and juniors, they see also, no namaste. We are taught you namaste sampai. But ush, namaste sampai. Ush is very important to throw the cup. We fold it and say, Nanu, Nini, Vandu. That was never there. Once, once that happens, the family and the joint family automatically becomes, you don't have to have any questions. Don't complain. Don't explain for 100 years. I told many families. Then you have the family tree, the family, the joint family and the family dream. There's nothing overflowing. It is a way of life. It is full of ladies and related thieves. They are the most beautiful organ, disconnected, forcefully disconnected, told you the lies by the political masters and the religious leaders like us, telling ladies, don't go back to ladies like the lawyers tell you not to talk to your opponents, to enemies, so that they can kept on making you a client throughout their life to make you run into the court. Please. Let it not overflow. Drop the question, professor. You are a professor. You are a professor. Borrowed knowledge is very good, but go back and cleanse it up. Clean it up. Empty your diseases. This is a disease.